Hey there YouTube, thanks for tuning in to another Magic of Voxel tutorial. My name is Aaron Robbins and today we're going to look at how we can uh, use the scale function or the scale tool in Magic of Voxel to take a lower res or less voxely model and make it more voxely so that we can add detail to it. There's a few caveats um, that I'll go over when we get to that point, but first we're just going to make a really simple, very low voxel um, hot air balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my work area here. And um, so the first thing you want to do too is determine kind of the scale. And I've already decided for this one that it's going to be very minimalistic, very low voxely, uh, 6 by 6 by 11 tall. And I'll just go ahead and start uh, roughing out the basket here, which will make very easy. Um, select the voxel brush and attach, and we'll just make it um, 2 by 2. And then we will raise it up a little bit. Um, probably 3 is way too tall, so 2 is the right amount there. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of, uh, there's no way for me to attach the hot air balloon part above that, like I can't draw on the walls here or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in just a couple of little support structures that I'm going to delete here in a second. And so we'll make the balloon start two above the, uh, the basket for the hot air balloon. And then we'll start making the hot air balloon. And so we will, we can't use the center brush because this is an even thing and there's no center for me to pull from. So we will just go ahead and start laying in some voxels and maybe start turning on mirroring in Y. Sounds pretty good. Okay. So we'll go to attach, voxel brush, mirroring in Y, and here we go. So we want it to definitely be maybe whiter. Let's just go ahead and pull the whole thing up and start building it around that. So now that we have sort of our shape of our balloon here and we're starting to, uh, we should probably be mirroring X as well. We can actually get rid of our support structures uh, now. I'll do that at the end, actually. And balloons are normally, I think, like more roundy on the top and less roundy on the bottom. So maybe we start this one off. Let's actually get rid of our support structures now. So I'll go to uh, the face brush, select erase, get rid of all that red. And there we go. I mean, it kind of starting to look like a hot air balloon. But let's do just a little bit more. Go ahead and select erase. And Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that as our balloon, and now we're like, okay, that looks fine, or whatever, and we want to start adding like a pattern or something to it, so we can switch over to the paintbrush and start adding uh, some kind of pattern to it to make it look more like a hot air balloon, and then you decide that you want to put a burner in here. You're going to have a little particle effect thing in Unity, and you need some place for that particle effect to kind of come out of um, like a burner, and you can't really do that. Um, here because there's not enough there's not enough voxels these are even I'd have to kind of put make this whole thing um, the burner or I would have to um, like bring it down on the side there I can't center it <clears throat> and that's a problem also I can't like carve out this and put any people in there and I certainly can't attach ropes from the basket to the thing and so if I wanted to attach ropes uh, I would be trying to do one of these guys here and it just the ropes look out of proportion they start to look like clouds or something in there so we're at a spot now where we want to keep the low voxel look, the very minimalistic look of this model, but we want to increase the resolution in order to add some details. And these are the caveats I'll say is that when you do this, you want to make sure that you don't get like detail creep in, that you start rounding out more edges. Um, as you add more resolution and more detail, the tendency to start adding in roundness and stuff starts to break the look of the original sort of voxel-ish art style. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. So what you do is you just come down here to the scale, and right now uh, we're at 1, and we're going to go up to uh, 2. So we go up to 2, and everything is kept in proportion. So this still looks like it was just 2 by 2 voxels, but it's not now. It's 4 by 4, which allows me to then come in here and select Erase and carve out a little section uh, of the basket if I wanted to. It allows me to put a burner in here. Um, yeah, okay, we'll hollow out the balloon. 
So in Unity, we can attach a particle vector, put a particle flex that goes up into the balloon there as the burner. Uh, and then the ropes we can now add because we have um, a level of detail that will let us do that. That actually might look cool to start them from there. So let's actually do that. And we'll just go up two, over one, up two, over one. And we'll say that's good. And then we'll go ahead and erase these parts here. And you know, we should have done that with uh, Miron. Just to make the uh, ropes look like they're kind of uh, at an angle there, we'll do that action and that action. And there we go. Now we have a hot air balloon with a little more detail. We have more room to uh, add detail actually in the balloon part. Uh, if you turn off uh, face mode here, go to vex voxel mode. You can do different things there. So that's how to use scale to uh, increase the level of detail. The thing you don't want to do or things you want to be careful of, I don't know if you want to do it or not, is that if you come in here and start rounding things out because now you have um, more detail, you actually start to kind of lose the voxely look of the thing you had. And if that's what you want and that's the art style you're going for, cool, uh, go that direction. But if you were looking for that very minimalistic low voxel look, uh, more detail can like lead you into that little... Uh, trap of doing that. You know, that doesn't look bad, but it wasn't the original look we wanted. We wanted that very low voxel um, look. And you could go in here and do it again just by hitting two to increase it by two, uh, increase it, you know, doubly. And you could go ahead and start adding more detail tarts type stuff to get those ropes even thinner and all that. And then you get into, uh, you know, just building a 3D model and not really working in the voxel art style. But that's a line you'll have to figure out where it is. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. If you want to see uh, more videos like this one, we're going to take this hot air balloon into uh, Unity and make it float and control it. And we're going to swap its textures out for day and night stuff. Then subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. All right. Thanks for watching.